Well, the good news is it is not an insomnia Saturday as uh, I sit down to record this week's episodes. The bad news is there's not extra time in cup matches. I'm so rusty with those, it didn't register with me until the final whistle. Hey guys, RC here back with Play the Kids. This is our football manager, a single team save, and our youth challenge. This is episode 16, I believe. Uh, and yeah, take a look. This is uh, where we left off last episode uh, with the 3-1 win over Mansfield. But look at the run of games. Two losses going all the way back to August 5th, and both of those were league losses. And if we pick up from there to get you guys caught up, there's a pretty strong December unbeaten, including a pair of wins over Weldstone, uh, including a FA Trophy third round. And I'll let you look at the goal scores. Uh, one person I will single out here is Tim Cook. He had a brace, a hat trick, and another brace in those final three games there. And moving into January... Uh, that's where we sit currently. So we drew with Tranmere. This was pretty darn impressive because we were a man down. Uh, Lewis Taylor was sent off in the 31st minute, and we fought and held them out. They had 24 shots to R2. It was, uh, it was a bloodbath uh, waiting to happen. But we, uh, we prevailed and held them scoreless, which I was highly surprised at um so anyway we'll uh you know we'll have to replay them uh Boromwood, we beat three to one and then barnett uh, fa trophy fourth round uh lee white scored and uh we equalized in this one as well uh so taking a look at this at the you know competitions they wanted us to reach the first round. We're already well past that. Uh, we're into a fourth round replay. And Barnett is a, you know, that's a club that we should beat. I mean, that's a club that we could beat. So we need to take care of business there. Uh, we were supposed to reach the third qualifying round. We're actually into the third round. So this is big money waiting to happen. Uh, Tranmere, of course, are winning the championship, so they're pushing for automatic promotion into the Premier League. So that was a huge, huge game for us. And then, of course, in the league, uh, we're supposed to be mid-table, which is where Barnett is uh, on 35 points. We are on 64 points with a plus 50 goal differential after 24 matches. And that's an 18-point advantage over h and W. So we are looking good for the automatic promotion. Now, it's still only halfway through the season. There is a long way to go. Uh, Graham Williams on 27 goals, playing a 7.78, and Tim Cook has 10 assists. Remember, he was challenging the assist record, I think was 16 last year, and uh, Graham Williams uh, set, the, set the goal record last year with 37 in the league. Uh, so, at 27, he's well ahead of that pace. The problem we're going to have with that, Graham Williams pulled a calf muscle, and he is out for three weeks. And he's already been out for a little while. So, we've got that going on. So, what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to play two matches, which I don't usually do anymore, but uh, we are going to play uh, do the replay against Tranmere and the replay against Barnett. Uh, I will play that Maidstone match off camera. So let's get up to Tranmere and the replay. This and both of these will be home games for us now. So that's positive, I guess. Still no money. <laughs> uh, although I don't think that, you know they only drew forty three hundred, so we didn't make much money on that one either. Well, let's take a look at the draw real quick. This is for the FA Trophy uh, fifth round, assuming we get through this. And there we are. We will play, uh, the winner of our match will play Geisley uh, from the Vanarama National League North. 
So that, again, is a winnable match. And everybody's, okay, I guess the FA Trophy, I know that's the lower tier. Is that what they call the, uh, used to be the Johnstown paint or something like that? I don't, I, I don't know the lineage of all the trophies. But it looks like that's for the lower level leagues. So, all right, we do have a couple of selection options. Lewis Taylor is suspended uh, for the red card. Uh, let's see, Ireland is suspended as well. I believe that's for yellow card accumulation. Graham Williams is out injured. So those are our three big guys that'll be out. They're all starters, so that's going to be a problem. We're going to go with Humphreys in goal, Hugel, Hemmings, Tierney, and Izquierdo on the back line. Rawlings, Bliss, and White in the central mid. Nuevo in the number 10. Mudge and Cook up top. So remember, we've been trying to train Cook in that number 10, um, but this is kind of putting a monkey wrench into those plans. So really the only change is Rawlings in for Ireland due to the injuries and everything. And we get started here. Let's give the early encouragement. Uh, I am going to draw back to balanced right away. And a penalty gives Tranmere a shot from the spot in the ninth minute. And that one is saved. That's the second penalty in the FA Cup that Humphreys has saved, both against Tranmere. Uh, he had saved one in the earlier play. Is there another penalty? Oh, this is bullshit. Oh, this is utter bullshit. Now, Humphreys can't save that one, and we're in a one nil hole. I think they just gave him that to you know give him the re reattempt on the penalty. That's that's my own personal feeling. I don't want to watch that crap. That's baloney. All right, well. And, oh, my God, they're just tearing us open here. Oh, my goodness. To 13th minute, and it's Tranmere 2, Tiverton nil in front of the home fans. It is sold out. Oh, man, it looks like Izquierdo got beaten at the back post. All right, Bliss, can we get one back? No, and there's Antonio Fernando on the counter. Two on two. Izquierdo cuts the angle, so that's good. And Humphreys is on the ball. Good job. Oh, All right, Nuevo. Now, uh, he was looking for Mudge to make a run. Nothing happened. And they are back on the attack. Uh, good ball movement into the attacking third. Rawlings is back there. White controls it. Oh, there's a bit. Oh, they were looking for Cookie. And a deep drive, but Cook was heading backwards to get into an onside position. That was a bad read by White. Oh, uh, and just a, a worm burner. And Humphreys, what a save. Just flicks it around the post. Oh, my goodness. I'm surprised there wasn't another penalty there, Mr. Official. Martins fights through that tackle. All right, that's cleared out, but not very far. Come on. Oh, my goodness. And Nuevo with the trip. Probably going to be a yellow card. No, just a warning. He is not playing well. Uh, let's give the uh, demand more here. Near post. Nope, that one's cleared away. Rawlings runs back to it and is on it. Come on, Bliss was there for the outlet pass, man. Oh, it's over to White, and White sends it wide. Oh, that was an opportunity for us. We need to get one of these back. You know what? Let's, hold on. Let's, let's do that play for set pieces. Old Sam thinks I need to do that. Can't hurt. And an offsides, thankfully, because that ball's sitting in the back of the goal. 
Alvarado. Yeah, definitely. Definitely offsides. Good call there, Mr. Side Judge. Not a great first. Uh, well, honestly, you know, and this is what the first game looked like. They dominated us on shots, but we Humphrey stopped everything. I think he had 22 saves in that match. I'm going to go hands on hips, make up in the second. Let's uh, demand more from the get-go here. Uh, I see a couple of issues. Let's make a couple of early subs here. Rawlings will bring on Bliss Cotterell, switch sides, and Luis Nuevo. Let's bring John Bliss up for him and Bissix into the midfield. Playing a 5-9 and somebody, their legs are falling off. Come on, boys. There's Tierney. Tierney charges in. But his header goes over the bar. That one goes wide. Sets up a goal kick. We're in the 73rd minute. We are not looking good. Demand more again. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn that off. Let's dial the tempo back just a little bit. They'll still attack fully, but... I want them to be a little more under control. Well, some good ball movement by Tranmere here. His Cuerto gets beaten on a tackle attempt. Shot goes high. John Bliss is now playing shit. Uh, do I want him off? I don't have anybody else to come in up there, do I? Uh, you know what? Let's bring... Let's bring Rui Martins in as striker, and Mudge, I mean, uh, Cook will drop back to the number 10. We're not playing well here at all. I mean, we, we haven't seen ratings like that in a long time. 6-1, six, 6-6, six, six, two five nines. Oh, that's just really horrible. Uh, I'm going to thrash my arms, and I'm far from pleased. Well, be demotivated, man. You did not play up to snuff. Just, uh, you didn't. All right, well, doesn't look like we made any money there. Or at least nothing that was announced yet. Well, that was disappointing. Nothing to be done about it, though. Record attendance is broken by a lot. I mean, our previous record was under 2,000. And this one was 3,500. New gate receipts, 70,000. Breaking a 40,000 record against Torquay. And that was in the fourth qualifying round. So that's huge. I mean, yeah. I mean, they should have probably had three goals at least. And we didn't deserve any. We just played horribly. So, yep. All right, let's get on to the next match. The club has rejected me taking a coaching course. Which isn't a huge thing in this game because it right now because we're not doing a journeyman. And I have a feeling if we get promoted, they will let me go on one to maintain pace with them. Hopefully at least. So we've got two games in hand now with our cup run and we are still 17 points clear. So we could extend that out to 23 once we make up the game in hand or the two games in hand. All right, and this is one of the things that we have been talking about. So Zahar Daher, one of our talented-looking kids, has now left on a free transfer because I can't get them to take a professional contract because we're not a professional side, and they won't accept a – what's the uh, – see, he got a full-time contract. Um, and I, I could have paid him – but it was it was um, a part-time contract, but all he wanted was a non-contract. Every other player to, to this point has rejected those deals, but Daher has accepted it. And the problem is, I just called him up to the club, and he's made two league, league appearances and looked great, but that's that's the issue that I am worried about. And it's not that he's great shakes, but he was five-star potential for us. And he can play both wings. 
And I just called him up to the senior squad. He he turned 17 uh, in this month on the 12th. We offered him his professional contract. He accepted it, and now he's gone. And I, I am really troubled that until we become a full full professional club, not a semi-pro club, that this is going to happen more and more because we're having, you know, Davies is also uh, on, on their radar. But again, he just turned, recently turned 17. He's on a new contract, but all he wanted and all he would accept was the non-contract with playing time, you know, playing agreements. So I, I don't know what to do here. And if if we can't, I mean, you know, at least we have some outs that we can sign other players if we need to. But, you know, kind of defeats the purpose of playing the kids if the kids are all leaving. <laughs> right? I mean, just, I don't know. Don't know what to do. Ireland is out suspended again for a straight red card. Uh, that happened in the last match between the two cup matches. Uh, is Cuierdo is suspended as well for yellow card accumulation. Williams is still out injured, although he's getting back to form. We'll put him on the bench, I suppose. That'll be his debut. Uh, Steve Fletcher, he's 16 years old, right winger, sort of. So we're going to go with Humphreys in goal, a back four that looks very familiar. Taylor's going to slot in, in there uh, on the right side due to the suspensions. Uh, Rawlings, Bliss, and White. You know what? I'm going to bring Granger on. I'm going to bring Granger on in the mid, White on the right side. You know what? Let's give Steve Fletcher his debut. He's a youngster. Let's play the kid. Bliss at the in the mid, Nuevo at the number 10, Mudge and Cook up top. So we'll go with uh, two wingers. Let me readjust my bench here. Well, we've got White. He can play both sides. So that's fine. We're not supposed to, you know, against this club, we should be able to win even with younger guys. Let's encourage. Granger's on it. There's his debut highlight. Go oh, over the top to Cookie. Cookie rounds Sinclair, and it's wide of the goal. Looks like it went off of Sinclair for a corner. <clears throat> Cook with the cross in, the header goes wide of the mark, setting up a goal kick. But at least we've had a couple of highlights. We, we didn't see that in the uh, other cup match. Let's demand more. Come on, boys. Do something. All right, we're back. Hugel into Bliss. There's Nuevo. No, that was poor. All right, well, Nuevo doesn't run hard towards that ball. And now we are on the back foot. Sunday, up to Monday. Granger with a ball over the top. It's Mudge that controls it. Plays it back. There's Fletcher. Fletcher's on his highlight debut. Debut highlight. Tongue twisting. Oh, Granger, nice ball movement. Mudge. Looks like he was going to lose it there. All right, Hugel into the box. He crosses it in. It falls to Cookie, and that was just a poor defensive play, putting the ball back into the middle of the goal, and Cookie makes him pay, and we're up 1-0. All right, let's encourage him again. Into the box. Hugel heads it out. Nuevo's on it. Out to Cook. Cook's on to it. He's got Mudge in the middle. Mudge is there into the corner of the goal, his 16th of the season. And it is Tiverton 2, Barnett nil, And things are looking good for us to advance this stage at this point. If only we could have gotten through the first time we played them. That would have been even better. So that takes us into halftime. And we are back in. They substitute off Fatai Sunday. Uh, he had a little bit of an injury. Tierney gets a foot on that, but he was offsides. 
Let's give him some praise this time. Now I'm kind of in build... Oh, a little flick on header by Cameron McLean. His 17th of the season. Tierney caught out of position there. That was not a good job. Not a good job at all. Surprised he wasn't offsides there. Oh, what a volley by Cook. His 22nd of the season. And that was one hell of a finish by the striker. Man. Now that one I do have to watch again. Bliss. Oh, he just rounded. It looks like Nuevo came around him. All right, we're going to let this go a little while. Let's encourage him. Oh, that one goes wide of the mark. Just a smidge. Oof. All right. Well, that's Hemmings. He's a center back. I'm not subbing him off. All right. Our header goes over for a goal kick. All right. I am going to make a sub here. All right. Who do I want off? Fletcher's actually, you know, he's not playing horribly, but let's get Lee White on for some veteran presence. So that means Granger's going to stay on. Um, they're playing well. Let's bring on Bissix for John Bliss. Headed out. There's Fletcher. He's got a chance to get into the highlight reel here. A lot of space. Good ball control. And he's taken down in the box. He draws a penalty. And Cook drills it right into the keeper. Oh, that was not good, Cook. A. And of course, Graham Williams would have taken that had he been in the game. Oh, that was disappointing. But we hold on for a 3-1 to one victory. Pretty dominant performance by us. Outstretched arms, a good win. Well done, boys. All right, we get $10,000 from that. We will play Geisley, and they are in the National League North. All of the clubs in this are lower level. Uh, yes, we'll go ahead and play extra time. Just I don't want to have to do a replay. Fletcher made his debut, and Cook, two goals, one assist, and seven passing. I'm going to congratulate him on his passing because that missed penalty was not a good thing. All right, well, that match will take place coming up. So let's come back for bath highlights and Geisley, I suppose, since it's still a trophy run that we're on. we got a long way to go, but I kind of want to either win this or get knocked out of it here pretty soon. But the money is nice. We do need whatever money we can bring in. Uh, we are up to two hundred and four thousand dollars, thirty-two one ninety-nine. So yeah, we'll just we'll just slam everything over there. I don't need anything in transfer. All right, guys. We'll hit that like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content. We'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.